It's been 14 years. SGC here, and we're back with a movie review. Tale of Princess Kaguya. Directed by Isayo Takahata, the other guy that created Studio Ghibli. You know, the not as famous dude. This is a 2013 Japanese animated film produced by Studio Ghibli, and it's directed and co-written by Takahata. And it's based on the folktale, The Tale of the Bamboo Cutter. This is Takahata's fifth Studio Ghibli film, and the first in 14 years since his 1999 feature, My Neighbors, The Yamadas. So what's this film about? Well, basically, it's about a bamboo cutter who all of a sudden, while cutting bamboo, discovered this thing, this seed thing, in the middle of his bamboo cutting session. And he brings it home, and it discover it's like a tiny human being. And all of a sudden, becomes a full-grown baby. So pretty much, it's about him and his wife taking care of this, I don't know, thing that he discovered in the bamboo forest. And he takes care of it as it grew into a full-size adult. And pretty much, she becomes a princess, basically, due to the fact that when he goes out to cut more bamboo, he discovers these bamboo shoots actually have gold in them. And he becomes super rich, and he's like, now I'm gonna marry off my little princess. And pretty much, the rest of the movie is talking about how Princess Kaguya just figure out life on Earth wherever she came from. So what did I think? I think the best part about this movie is that it's watercolors or it looks watercolory to me and character details and design for that watercolor effect really was impressive and just really awesome to look at and I think that's the only thing that I can say about this movie. And this is what I didn't like. I think the style is good on its own but coming from Studio Ghibli it's really different from everything else that we had recently. This especially reminds me of Ponyo but I think Ponyo did it better in terms of just being complete package. Like how I would describe the Tale of Princess Kaguya, my major issue with it is that for me Studio Ghibli has always been detail and like just minuscule details and it's just like things are just so complete it's like he's putting more effort into it than needed. But with here, the Tale of Princess Kaguya, there are times where the backdrop is empty and I swear it gives off the vibe of watercolors, but to me that is not Studio Ghibli and it just feels like it's an incomplete movie and it's really stubborn of me that like I like the style but it doesn't fit with the studio and it's just like the characters up close look great when they're moving or when they're dancing it looks great but when they're static and just sitting there and there's like a background of just pure white it's just like, I know I'm supposed to focus on people sitting, but for me, Ghibli has always been, can you spot the detail that I put in? I think that's all stemmed from like Miyazaki's style of just adding tons of stuff in the background for you to watch. But Takahara is just like, he, totally different style, and, and it's not my style for sure. Now in terms of the actual plot and characters, I think I just don't really care for the actual folktale. And I think it, I think it probably adapts it well, but for me, it's just like there wasn't that much characterization going on, and I just just didn't care. Like I think it was not compelling, and I think nothing really happened because there's a lot of sitting around and talking. So whenever they move, that's when I'm like, I like this stuff. But when the most of the movie is sitting down, I'm just like, this is a complete bore fest. Like definitely, there's probably going to be people like loving this thing or whatever. But for me, I think even Ponyo I couldn't stand. Like, I have to rewatch that because I never finished that because of the artsy style that I never really understood when it first came out. And I hopefully have more patience for it now. I think that's pretty much it. But basically, this film, it's a hit and miss in terms of visuals, plot, and characterization falls flat for me. Check it out if you like this sort of differentness. Like, if you are sick of Miyazaki, I think definitely check this out. But for me, I don't think I'll ever get sick of Miyazaki's artwork and this is way of presenting. And maybe, could it be blamed on the fact that Takahata hasn't done anything since 99? That's 14 years ago. It's been a while since he directed, so maybe he's just rusty or whatever. But who knows? And that's pretty much it. If you have seen The Tale of Princess Kaguya, tell me what you thought below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And that is it for The Tale of Princess Kaguya. Oh,